Hey guys, what's up? This is Adeboye Thompson from Lagos, Nigeria. Um, first and foremost, I want to show this project I'm working on. This is um, Durumi. It's um, a VPO I'm actually building here in Lagos, and I will just open it up so we can start and see the interface. I still have a ton of work to do, but it's coming along really good. This is our application icon, and as you can see, we have the window here. I can go ahead and maximize it. As you can see, I can minimize it, and um, I can close out of it too. So I just close out for now. So that is uh, my pet project. That's what I'm working on. It's going to be fantastic, I believe. Um, but now to the projects that we're going to be building. Um, this is the organ we're going to be building. As you can see, I've already created the manuals. So it has four manuals. We can do five, we can do six as much as we want. These are the pedal boards and these are the stops. So today I am going to try to at least get all of this, if possible, done. It's a huge task, but I think I'm up for it. So guys, just sit back, relax, enjoy the video. Again, I apologize for having to um, do one keyboard and then do another, but I just think this looks a bit nicer than what we had before. Let me try and see what we had before and open that up. Just a minute. Um, so documents, apps, um, organ, I think, and then index. Let me open this and let's see what it looks like. Oh, no, not with this. Um, open with. So, Microsoft Edge. Yeah, so this is what we had before with this style of keyboard, and I just changed it to this. I don't know. You guys are more than welcome to pick whichever style you want. If you prefer this style, then you look at the first video, which is still up. And if you prefer this style, then just continue along with this video. All right, guys, let's get started. All right, guys, so feel, forward, feel free rather to forward um, parts that you're not interested in because I'll be repeating myself again trying to show some of these other things But we'll get started again from scratch. So I'll go to file. I would go to um, Just a minute file and then open folder This is from Visual Studio Code. I'm just going to create a new folder here and um, I'll call it tutorial organ open that so select folder and um, Visual Studio code will go ahead and just open that so what we'll do is I'll create a folder for images just a minute okay so images then click outside and then another folder we'll call that styles and then click out again and then another folder we'll call that um, javascripts and um, inside the root of the folder so right out there we'll create the index file and that would be index.html and um, for the styles we want to create a file so we'll call that maybe design.css so what i'm going to do is just come right up here and um, open up my folder again the apps um, the organ is right there that's what we built before so i want to copy all these images from the image folder Again, you can use any background picture you want. It doesn't really matter. So it's going to be your choice. So we'll go to tutorial organ and we'll paste that in here. And we're good to go. So right now, I'll come into the index page and we'll type asterisk. 
because we have emit so it will type the boilerplate for us and um, we can go ahead and just open this with live server now and you wouldn't really see anything you will just show um, document at the top of the page and as you can see it just shows document at the top of the page so first thing we're going to change the title so this part of the document HTML document is called the title so we're going to change that now and we'll put tutorial organ instead tutorial organ and save and once we go back here it's already updated so our live server is working fine next would we'll link up our style sheet so that's where we'll be doing all the design and um, that will be styles slash design.css and I'll save that and then we now come into the design style sheet so first thing we want to do is the body of the HTML file and whatever shows inside here inside this window is called the body so this is the title that's part of the add area and this area is called the body so if we look at the html file itself you can see we have html and we have head and the head has all these attributes including the title but whatever you have inside the body is what is going to show on the page so for instance if i type organ yeah and save you'd see inside this page we have organ showing now so similarly we can style the body and since we want to have a background image we're going to put that in the body of the html file so when i go to my css file i just type body and that helps me to select the body itself so i'll take background and background image give that a url and um, first thing we want to go out from the styles folder into our images folder and then GAG01 which is the image I want to use so we we'll save and when we reload as you can see the background image is now applied to the entire page all right guys so we're going to continue on now that we have the background image there um, next thing on the body is to set the margins and set them to zero this is just like housekeeping so there are no margins on the page I also like to set my paddings to zero and um, after that we want it to display flex we want to set the display property as flex I don't know I explained flex box in the other video so if you're not familiar with it you can go ahead and watch it now um, all this we're doing is not really going to make any dif visible difference in the look of the page right now but as we start to work you start to see the effects of the flex and um, justifying the items and things like that so this is it as you can see no difference visibly um, next thing we're going to do we're going to set the width of the page so i usually want it to be 100 view width so vw that's for it means um occupy 100 percent of the device width the height also i'll set to 100 vh which which means occupy 100 percent of the device height now the background size we want to set that to cover so it covers the entire screen so background size um, background size and cover we'll try the different forms of the this thing so like right now this is what it looks like if i do save so we apply the cover um not really much of a visible difference but if we change this to contain for instance Still not much of a difference i guess probably because the image is bigger but this um background properties always help with making sure that the picture takes the entire space on the screen now we have this stuff showing here 
which we do not want. And in fact, that's probably the reason why we weren't seeing the effect of the background size I have applied. So we're going to set the repeat of the background repeat to none. So what's happening is it occupied 100% of the screen width and then it's repeating itself. So I would, we'll come here and we'll say background repeat, background repeat none or no repeat so that should um, take this out so now it's not repeating itself but again we now have this space here so let's change it back to cover and then the cover will allow it to occupy the entire width of the screen so instead of contain we say cover the difference is that cover kind of stretches it to fill the screen whereas contain maintains the original image aspect ratio so we'll save this now and when we go back here you see it's now filled up the entire screen so this is exactly what we want so um next thing we are going to start to create the different sections of the page um just a minute let me let me open the one we have here the one we've done so we we'll use that as a reference and just build on from there and um, so over here and source okay and then i'll just open this with open with um, microsoft edge so this is what we're going for so invariably we're going to divide the screen we're going to have a section for this left stop jam we're going to have the center and then we're going to have the right stop jam so let's just create divisions on our page for those first and foremost so we'll come back to our html file and i'll say div dot left stop you can call it whatever you want and then we do div for organ so that's like the center area where the organ will be and um, div dot right stop and save if we do save you're not going to see anything on the page now you can't see anything but in the css we can start to change the properties so you can see stuff so let's do that so let's go to our design.css and first thing we're going to do left so we'll take the left stop i think that's what i called it if i am not wrong let me let me just confirm so left stop okay so let's set the height to 100 view height and the width uh let's say 300 pixels it can be arbitrary we would change it as we go and then uh let's give it a background color so background fff is for white so if i just leave it this way and we we'll save when we come back here you see we have this white stuff that is 300 pixels wide and covers the entire screen we can change it so like right now instead of having it at 100 view height let's say we set it to 90 view height now you see it occupies 90 percent of the screen um next thing i don't like it like this i want it to be a bit transparent so i'll show you a cool technique for adding transparencies to any color so um fff is the short form for white but if i added three additional f's this is the full full version so you see it's still white and then behind this we can add a percentage of transparency so if i went ahead and i put 50 behind this now and we save when we load you see it's showing at 50 percent opacity um i can go back there and change this to 70 and save and uh here we go so now it's a bit more opaque so let's still leave it right here for right now we we'll work on the center next and then we we'll work on the left so let's let's get to work on that so the 
center region is called organ, so we just say dot organ. And again, we'll set the height. Let's just say 100 view height for right now. Um, width. Oh, God. I don't know. Maybe 50% view width. This is going to change. I'm just kind of setting it in place so we can just see everything broken up into their spaces. And then we can just walk from there. And then we'll give it the same background color so I'll just copy this and put this here and then for the right stop I'll just copy this place it down here and change the left to right god I don't know I can select the okay right there we go and save and now everything is like washed up towards themselves so now we're going to go to the flex box to do the displays and you see how everything will change now so first thing we'll come here we already have this displaying flex so we're just going to try to center everything so we we'll say justify content and center and let's save and see what that does so you see it puts everything in the middle of the screen now I don't just want everything to be in the middle of the screen like this I also want it to be aligned top wise in the center too so we'll do that also so in order to do that we just say align item center so and now we, if we do save now everything is aligned center the other thing we need to do is give some margins to the side of the left and right stop jams so we just say come to the left stop jam and we'll say margin right uh, let's say 20 pixels and then the right one will do a margin left so margin left 20 pixels and save and now we have it looking like this not quite like what we have here but you can see we get in there little by little so this is like the first step now next thing we can do is um round up these corners because i don't like sharp corners like this so we just come again to the left stop jam and we'll give it a border radius so border radius and um, let's just say 20 pixels that might be too much let's just see what that looks like uh, I don't think it's bad actually so yeah let's stick to 20 pixels and we'll do that to the one on the right too so I just copy this and we'll paste right here fantastic so both now have this border radius around them so next thing we want to do is now work on the center area which is where our organ is as you can see in this i put like the background color but obviously we are not going to be using the background color you can keep it if you want but this is what i was shooting for but i just put it there right now just to show that this is the area the organ will occupy so first thing we need to do let's just build um let's let's divide this organ area too into two sections one for the manuals and one for the pedals so let's do that we'll go into our html and under organ would we'll come here and say dot manuals and again dot pedal and save so again if we open it you're not going to see anything but we can now go to the style and style it up so let's do that so dot manual let's say width i'm just giving them widths right now just for the sake of giving them width so we can see them um when we design the keyboard it's going to automatically stretch to fit the air so we'll remove the width we're putting we're just putting them right now let me explain what i'm saying better if you look at the
completed one. You see, we have four stops. So if we were to set it to show three stops instead, then it will shrink. If we were to set it to show five stops instead, then it will expand. Um, if we were to make our keys wider, then this place will expand more. So that's really what I'm saying. Um, it's just going to occupy the space properly. Again, um, I don't know, I, <laughs> I did this. You, I don't know if you noticed the animation as you press down the keys so you can see. Obviously, we're going to be controlling this with a MIDI keyboard and I've already done that too and it works perfectly too. So just um, so you can see all the manuals control and work. All this is very, very easy to do and we'll get it all done. So again, let's come back here and continue. So I'll just set the width for right now to, let's say 300 pixels and give it a height of say, let's say 400 pixels. And then um, let's say, let's give it a border. So border and one pixel solid 333 and save and come here oh god i don't see it why am i not seeing it i probably used the wrong name oh okay it's dot manuals not manual even yes manuals god. so just make sure you type correctly on both sides so save this now and we come here and you can see we have this shape here so 300 pixels obviously is not wide enough let me just set it now to let's say 100 percent and it will take 100 percent of the width of its container which is the which is the organ so let's just say 100 percent you see what i'm talking about Control s and come back and now you see it occupies 100 percent of this width so let's leave it like this for right now it's just an area that we know we're going to be putting our keyboards the width height and other things will work out later um next we'll come to the pedal uh yeah yeah pedal so dot pedal so let's do that right now dot pedal and um again we'll give it a width of 100 percent height of um, let's say 300 pixels and then border of one pixel solid 333 again just to see just to outline the different areas we're working in usually i always like to work this way that way i can kind of do like a layout first and um, I don't see the pedal for some reason. I don't know why. Pedal? Did I type it right? Yes, I did. Let me give it. Let me give it a background just so it pops out. So background. Let's say blue. Okay. So it comes like right underneath it. So we're just going to push this down. So. Um, in order to do that what we can do is give the manuals a margin bottom so we can say margin bottom and let's say maybe 20 pixels and then we can give the pedals if we if i do save it now you see a change you can see it's added 20 pixels in between this and this but i can also give the pedals to a margin top so it even spaces it out more so margin top for the pedal so it puts like a margin at the top of the pedal and we we'll say 20 pixels too and save and now we can see it's the pedals to have come down a bit so i don't think the 20 pixels is enough let me see what we have in the original okay way 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 more so let's uh make the margin top and margin bottom let's make this maybe about 30 pixels and uh margin top for this let's say 30 pixels too and see what that looks like oh god still not that much <laughs> let's increase it drastically and just see what happens and i hope i'm not 
making a mistake somewhere. Let me just set this at 300. Okay, that certainly pushes it all the way. Okay, so maybe the margins I'm giving are just too small. We set this to 100. We set this to 100 to start, and we can always change things around later. So, all right, this might be okay for right now. Let's take off that idiot's blue because I don't like it at all. Wow. And now, why is the bother not showing around this? Uh, did I type it right? Bother one pixel solid three three three. Yes, I did type it right. I'm surprised. I don't I don't know why the border is not showing I'm just really really blown away <laughs> okay now it's showing so maybe I had a typo somewhere all right so here we go now and again um, using we can display this flex so I think that's what we should do next because flex will now allow us to be able to um, justify the content properly so let's do that let's do that real quick so you see what i'm talking about so inside the organ div which is this middle part we're going to set the display to flex and i'll let you see what it looks like immediately we apply the flex to it display flex and you see everything will show side by side you see it's showing the two of them side by side this is not what we want so what we do is change the flex direction to column so flex direction and we'll go with columns so that will now put them in columns and now you're like okay yeah it just took us back to where we were before well yeah but now we can justify the content and align the content to the center too so everything will stay kind of centralized both up and down and side to side like we have here you can see everything is centrally organized so that's what we want to do here too so we can just come here to the manuals and just say align items center and when we save this should push everything okay so we probably won't see much of the this thing now let me use the justify also on it so justify content center so now it has actually pushed it so now this is taking up its space this is taking up its space this is where our pedal will be this is where our manuals would be and you can see the space at the top is very very even so there we go so next we're going to start to add the manuals and then we're going to add the pedals and then we'll add the stops cool let's get started with part two